our next case is nodal analysis with voltage sources. We will now consider how voltage sources affect nodal analysis. There are two possibilities or cases under this analysis. So, unahin na natin yung case 1. But before that, um, gamitin natin tong figure 3.5 as our example. In nodal analysis with voltage sources, as you can see, yung mga sources natin ay puro voltage source. So, we have at dito sa branch ng node 1, we have 10 volt source. Tapos, dito sa gitna ni V sub 2 and V sub 3, we have 5 volt source. So, sa case 1, okay, under case 1, Okay, we have a voltage source which is connected between a reference node or the reference node, ito yung reference node natin, and a non-reference node. So, hanap tayo ng non-reference node na may voltage source. So, that is P sub 1. Okay, so I repeat, under case 1, we have a voltage source that is connected between a reference node and a non-reference node. And our voltage source is this one, itong 10 volts na to. So, anong gagawin natin if that is the case? So, simply set the voltage. Isa set natin yung voltage at the non-reference node equal to, so yung V sub 1, voltage ng non-reference node equal to the voltage of the voltage source, which is 10 volts. So, V sub 1 is equal to 10 volts. So, mas mapapadali yung ating pagsasolve dito sa branch na to. Okay? So, kapag... Case 1 tayo, we have voltage source na in between reference node and non-reference node. So, ang gagawin mo lang, isaset lang natin yung node voltage na yon or yung uh, voltage ng non-reference node na yon equal to the voltage of the voltage source. So, V sub 1 is equal to 10 volts. So, that is our first equation. Now, ano naman yung second case natin or second possibility? Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating figure, Okay, we have a voltage source 5 volts na in between two non-reference node V sub 1 and V sub 3. Okay, so if we have this type of case, the two non-reference node itong uh, V sub 2, V sub 3 or yung node 2 and node 3 natin ay magpo-form siya ng generalized node or yung tinatawag nating super node. Okay, case 2. Ito yung meron tayo. Super node. Okay, po magtago lang yung aking. We have a super node. Okay, super node is a 2 non reference node na merong voltage source. Okay, ang tawag natin siya na ay super node or general node. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin lang nun, pag didikitin lang natin yung dalawang node na yan, parang matatanggal si 5 volt source, tapos ididikit natin yung dalawang node na yan, magiging isa na lang. Therefore, kapag nag-KCL tayo, okay, KCL at node or super node 1, ay wait, 2 to 3, Dati kasi isang load lang tayo na kikisigil. So, pagsasamahin mo yan, ano-ano yung mga current na magpa-pass through sa super node 2, 3 natin. So, I1, I2, I4, and I3. So, i-create lang natin yon using yung ating sign convention. And then, we have another equation. So, that is lahat ng nag enter sa super node natin. That is I1. Okay. Ano pa yung entering? O wala na. Or meron pa. Okay, I4. So, pag didikitan mo lang, entering si I1, entering si I4. Minus, leaving si I sub 2, minus I sub 3 is equal to 0. And then, apply tayo ng Ohm's Law. Okay, using pa rin yung ating napag-aralan doon sa previous discussion. Yung ating four basic, three basic steps on solving or using uh, nodal analysis. Apply tayo ng Ohm's Law. Uh, bearing in mind yung ating I, which is equivalent to yung sinusundan niya, yung passive sign convention, um, voltage higher potential minus voltage lower potential over the resistance. So, yung I sub 1 natin, tutuntunin lang natin, ano yung mga voltages niya? So, from V sub 1 to V sub 2. Kaya, V sub 1 minus V sub 2 over ano yung resistance? 2. Okay, parenthesis. 
plus quantity uli, isoform. Isoform ay nanggaling siya ng V sub 1 papuntang V sub 3. So, V sub 1 minus V sub 3 over ano yung resistance, which is 4. Okay, and then minus parenthesis uli. Okay, so we have I sub 2. What is I sub 2? So, V sub 2 minus 0. V sub 2. Hindi ko nalalagay yung 0. Since mamaya matatanggal din naman siya. V sub 2 minus 0 over yung ating resistance 8. So, minus uli. V sub 3. Okay, I sub 3 is V sub 3. V sub 3 minus 0 uli. So, V sub 3 over the resistance, which is 6, ohms equals 0. So, this is our second equation. So, ito yung first equation natin. And this, this is our second equation. A-arrange mo na lang yan in terms of V sub 1, V sub 2, V sub 3. So, by multiplying a factor of 8 or 6, and then simplify the equation, meron ka ng equation 2. Now, since ilan ba yung unknown natin dito? Ilan ba yung... Uh, load voltage natin, load voltages. So, V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3. So, we have 3 unknowns. We ha should have 3 equations. So, ilan na equations natin? 1 and 2. So, yung pangatlong equations natin, okay, ito na yung kailangan nating tandaan as one property of okay, superload. The voltage source, okay, the voltage source inside the super node, which is the 5 volt source, tama, ito yun, provides a constraint equation. So, na mag-provide pa siya ng additional equation, okay, needed to solve for the node voltages. So, ito, makakakuha tayo ng isa pang equation. Kung i draw natin siya, ano ba yung niya? This one. So, tatanggalin natin lahat ng ibang elements. So, makikita lang natin dito is yung node voltages, okay, yung dalawang node voltages kung saan located yung ating uh, voltage source doon sa ating super node, okay, with their corresponding terminal or polarity. So, mag-apply tayo dyan ng KVL. So, ito yung pinagkaiba ng ating nodal analysis with pure current sources sa circuit. Doon sa pure current sources sa circuit, ang ina-apply lang natin doon ay puro KCL and Ohm's law. But, in our case too with voltage sources, okay, na kung saan meron tayong super node, okay, kailangan natin mag-KVL. So, magka-KVL tayo, okay, in such a way that, ito, so, ito yung gagawin natin. i re natin yung part ng circuit na to, okay, lalagay natin yung mga node voltages at yung source lang na yun. And then, we apply KVL. So, KVL tayo at loop. Let's say this is loop 1. Okay? Dito ko na lang lalagay. KVL at loop 1. Okay. Ano-ano yun? So, entering ang terminal, yung magiging sign natin. Negative V sub 2. Okay? Plus 5. Okay? And then, uh, plus V sub 3 equals 0. So, arranging the equation, ilipat natin sa kabila lahat, may iwan si 5. So, V sub 2 minus V sub 3 equals 5. So, this is our third equation. Okay? So, we have now, ay, nagahang, we have now 3 equations, 3 unknown. So, mag apply na lang tayo ng elimination method or if you want Kramer's rule to get V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3. So, ang step pa rin na susundan natin is same with the previous discussion on the analysis with current sources. Siya pa rin, except that may nadagdag, may nadagdag lang. Okay? Kapag meron tayong case 2, no? case 2 na magkakaroon tayo ng super node, okay? magka-KCL tayo and then Ohm's law and then kukunin natin yung voltage source equation inside ng super node. That is another equation by means of KVL. Magka-KVL tayo. Okay? So, try natin ngayong isolve or try natin ngayong gamitin yung analysis natin sa sample problems.